H2S is colorless as a gas. It is soluble, which means it will dissolve in liquids. You must use caution when working in areas where liquid may be present, such as the bottom of ditches, tanks, and other vessels. If liquid containing H2S is disturbed, it may be released into the atmosphere. It's heavier than air, which is why it's normally low-lying. The molecular weight of H2S is 34.1 grams per mole, compared to air at 28.97. It has a vapor density of 1.2, as compared to air, which is 1.0. It can, however, be affected by temperature and variations in wind currents. Like previously mentioned, it smells like rotten eggs at low concentrations. However, you can't rely on your sense of smell, since it's odorless at higher concentrations where it is even more dangerous. As you can see, or rather, since you can't see or smell the presence of H2S at dangerous concentrations, special equipment is needed to detect it. You cannot rely on your senses. Let's review the important things we've learned so far. H2S is generally encountered as a gas and is colorless, odorless at high concentrations, and is heavier than air, along with being extremely toxic. Pretty nasty stuff. You must also be very careful around any liquids that could contain H2S, since a disturbance of the liquid could release the gas back into the atmosphere. H2S first becomes detectable by smell at concentrations of 0.01 to 0.3 parts per million. This is often referred to as the odor threshold. At 1 to 20 parts per million, it has an offensive odor similar to rotten eggs. You may experience nausea, tearing of the eyes, or headaches with prolonged exposure at this concentration. Between 20 and 100 parts per million, things begin to get a little more serious. You'll experience nose, throat, and lung irritations, digestive upset, and loss of appetite. Your sense of smell starts to become fatigued, and you'll experience eye pain, tearing, and light sensitivity. Between 100 and 200 parts per million, you'll experience severe nose, throat, and lung irritation, and your ability to smell odor will completely disappear. Between 250 and 500 parts per million, fluid will build up in the lungs. At 500 parts per million, there will be severe lung irritation, excitement, headache, dizziness, staggering, sudden collapse, loss of memory for the period of exposure, unconsciousness, and death within a few hours. Between 500 and 1,000 parts per million, there will be respiratory paralysis, irregular heartbeat, collapse, and death without rescue. Over 1,000 parts per million of H2S will cause rapid collapse and death may be immediate, 